Hey everyone, what up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my current brow maintenance and routine. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. All right, so first things first, here are my brows. I'm going to be plucking kind of underneath only just to make sure I clean up any of the little hairs that have grown in. I probably do this once every week, week and a half, two weeks max, I would say is like, it's time to get it done. Definitely be careful, you don't wanna over pluck anything. And I'm really careful just to stay with the natural shape of my brow. Now I'm brushing up the hairs on both sides. Now I'm taking some tiny, teeny little brow scissors. I also use these for eyelash, um, false lashes to cut them and trim them. But you can see I'm holding with the end of a spoolie brush my brow hairs up straight and then I'm trimming them just along the top portion. So I'm brushing the hairs up and out, kind of in the direction I normally like them in when I do them. Same thing over here and I'm keeping it really straight and I'm only trimming a little teeny tiny bit. You can always take more off. You can't go back and fix if you cut too much off. So be very cautious if you're trying this for the first time. Do it at your own risk. This is what I like, this is what works for me. Just making sure they're even and I'm just going in with my benefit precisely my brow pencil and this is in the shade 4.5 going in with small little strokes you see I started at the front of the brow and then worked my way to the tail kind of going back and forth and I like to just try to stay with the natural shape of my brow as best I can I do like to kind of elongate them a little bit at the tail, kind of draw it out a little more. And I know this is sped up, but you guys can see literally how um, light and delicate I'm being with the strokes. And just kind of going back and forth until I get them where I want them. Looks pretty good. Now I am taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Cream Puff and a flat brush. This one I want to say is from e.l.f. I don't know exactly which brushes, but any flat brush will do for this. Again, you guys, look at the strokes in this. I know it's sped up, but I'm going very, you know, little by little rather than one big giant swoop, taking my time underneath and just carving out, really shaping the natural shape of my brow here. I guess my hair got in my face. <laughs> Now I'm going over the top as well. Really, like I kind of used too much product when I went in on this, but honestly, like a little bit goes a long way. And like the less product you use, the better because it will make the line just look more uh, fresh and less harsh. Kind of using my fingers to blend after I blended everything out around the edges. One second. All right guys, I'm here and most, I finished the rest of my makeup. Now the last step I like to do before setting spray is finish off my brows. I haven't touched them since I last saw you. This is where they're at right now. What I like to do is take my precisely my brow pencil once more. I just look at them and see are they even still? Did anything get messed up with other makeup application? Things like that. So far, maybe just a little bit here on the tail of the brow. Just go in and kind of touch up any spaces that I feel like may have been affected. What I'm gonna do is take Elmer's Clear Washable Glue. Make sure if you're doing this, it is washable children's glue. I also like clear better than the white, and it's just what I like. Using this instead of brow gel, I'm gonna dot just a little bit on the back of my hand. I have these little disposable mascara wands. You can actually wash these and reuse them. I'm gonna just kind of brush through the glue like so on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take it through and brush my brow hairs exactly how I want them, just like if it was brow gel. I actually learned this trick when I went to the master class with Makeup by Mario. This is what he says all the subs do for like the red carpet because it really keeps their brow hairs 
in place all day and honestly like I'm telling you guys my brow hairs are not going anywhere until I take my makeup off at the end of the day Do you guys see the hairs at the front of my brow I kind of like to brush upwards kind of straight and then the rest I just kind of brush out towards this direction and you can kind of go back and forth until you feel like they're even where you like them I think they're looking really good you can see that just gives them a little more body and it makes the hairs look fuller I feel like the glue almost pulls the brow product onto the hair and kind of connects it together so that's my little theory of how it works I don't know for sure but all right, you guys, that wraps up my current eyebrow routine. I don't think I've ever actually showed you guys the actual step-by-step -step on how I kind of maintain my own brows. I couldn't tell you the last time somebody waxed my eyebrows. I maintain just their shape and everything all by myself. I feel like I just know what I like best on my brows. This is um, just what works for me right now. Of course, I'm always changing, you know, I'm always learning new things and techniques and things like that. This is just currently how I like to do my brows. Keep them all together, looking good. I'm having a good brow day for sure, which is nice that I'm filming this. <laughs> I will be sure to list all the products I use in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take the time to support me as a creator and subscribe to my channel. It honestly means so, so much to me. And we are really close Close to hitting 3k which just makes my heart so happy and as always thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye guys